You want to share your fight with the people outside of your organization? Or maybe you are IT administrator who need to control that process. My name is Szymon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. I will teach you how to use external sharing in the SharePoint Online safe way. Sharing your internal data outside the organization could be a very difficult topic to discuss internally and to address technically by IT department. At the same time, business users always finding ways to do something like that if you will not provide complex solution to address that need. Using SharePoint and OneDrive could address possibility to share your internal files or internal data with external parties using external sharing functionality. This is the feature that could help you to address this topic. And I know this is quite complex, but at the same time delivering this functionality with security layer and limitations that gives you the control about what kind of data is shared and how is something that you need to implement in your organization. Business will find the ways to, to do that if you will not cover that topic. In the shared video, I will show you how to manage that process in SharePoint or OneDrive and how this functionality works in general from perspective of the business user interface. If you will like this video, please let the thumbs up. If you would like to get the notification about the new videos, click subscribe button. And now we will switch to my screen. Before you will do any steps connected with using external sharing in SharePoint or in OneDrive, you need to take care to make this mechanism be safe for your users and make it to follow your policies and expectations. To do that, you need to log in to the admin center of, of Microsoft 365 and then navigate to dedicated admin center for the SharePoint Online, which covers also OneDrive setup of the security and external sharing specifically. In your SharePoint admin center, take a look on policies and on the sharing. This is the place when you can control how sharing functionality should behave in SharePoint and in the OneDrive. And you need to answer what you want to do from perspective of how the external sharing should be set it up in your Office 365 environment. Remember, sooner or later, your business users will find a way to share your organization files with external parties. My recommendation is offer them the solution that will be secure safe for you and you will have some kind of control on top of that give them possibility to do that but in the very organized and predefined model that you will control at the very first step you need to decide is the external sharing possible to be done or not first option anyone gives you the possibility to share the data by the link nobody needs to log in or authenticate to get access to such data and this is very flexible scenario with no possibilities to take control who opening the file you can forward that kind of link anyone can do that in option number two new and existing guests so you require from the end user to sign in or to provide the code verification via email. This is very good option if you want to allow the external sharing, but at the same time provide secure way to control who opening the file. In this case, person that get invitation to OneDrive or SharePoint will need to pass the code sent to the email. Very simple scenario and still guarantee that nobody else will have possibility to open the data without that kind of code. Another thing, they will be able to create the guest account and sign in, authenticate to your SharePoint or OneDrive to receive access to the file. Of course, you can limit external sharing to the existing guests. So your IT team will need to first create the guest account. It could be another company, Office 365 account that is invited to your Azure AD, but still account needs to exist to give you the possibility to share the file or the SharePoint site with that person. This is very restricted process, very secure. One thing which I could recommend if you would like to follow with that kind of functionality, that kind of setup, re prepare the process that will allow your 
organization business users to order creation of such guest accounts or maybe automate that process based on some kind of approvals. This is possible, but you can see this is much more complex, longer process before the person on the other side get the access to the file. And remember, people sharing that kind of files externally cause it is immediately require it. Remember, you will need to find the best approach to cover the security, but also gives the necessary functionality to your business users. The last option, only people in the organization, you're turning off external sharing and you do not allow anyone else to open data on your SharePoint or OneDrive. Very restricted policy. And again, you can split how this kind of process, what kind of external sharing options are available on your SharePoint or on your OneDrive. You can decide finally what kind of security setup should be done on SharePoint or on OneDrive. Thanks to that, you can differ how your business users could use external sharing in your organization. Let's stay with this solution. I really like the approach where people can easily share the data, but to the very specific people on the other side, which have to authenticate to get access to your data. Another thing which is also quite important to know about is additional external sharing options that are available on the admin panel. One of this is limit external sharing by domain. So this is a really great solution if you want to block any kind of domains like Gmail to require from your users to share that kind of data with corporate accounts, official business email accounts rather than public email provider. I highly recommend to use that option and also to turn on two additional options that will limit the time how long people can access the data. And again, you can decide which numbers will fit to your organization. Do not allow to share the data for the unlimited period of time. Of course, you can also limit who should have possibility to share the links and if the people who are invited to your organization to get access to some data can edit it or they can only view the file. This is quite important. It depends how your organization will work with external parties. If you work together on something, they need to have edit access. But if you want to just share the data to give somebody possibility to read it, limit that kind of access to only view access with shared links. These are the most important elements you need to know about from perspective of how your company will share your data with external parties. I highly recommend you to try it, to do not limit that totally for your business users, because if you will do that, people in your organization will find other ways to share that data without your control, without your security features. Organize the acceptable way for your company to share your data with external parties using external sharing. In case of external sharing, you need to also remember that previously presented settings are global and they cover all settings of OneDrive. In case of SharePoint, the default settings which were presented there are also global, but at the same time, you need to navigate to the SharePoint Admin Center again and turn on external sharing on the very specific SharePoint site. By design, this kind of settings are turned off. To enable external sharing for your users, you need to change settings on the SharePoint site. If you will navigate to policies, you can see that external sharing can't be used on this site. You need to change that kind of settings to be sure that your business users will be able to use external sharing on this SharePoint site. As soon as you will navigate to the sharing options for this SharePoint site, you will see a very similar view about how external sharing should work for data storing there. So in this case, we can also turn on new and exit guests. You can add additional domains that are not available to invite people having emails address there. And you can turn off default settings inherited from the global settings set for the external sharing here. Remember that you need to set that kind of settings for the every SharePoint site to be sure that external sharing works there. At the same time, you can differ which SharePoint sites should be available to external sharing and which not. As soon as you will set up the external sharing for OneDrive and SharePoint, 
you can start to share this specific data with external users. Sharing experience from perspective of SharePoint and OneDrive is exactly the same and the features I would present will behave exactly the same on the OneDrive level. The only thing you need to remember from perspective of the SharePoint, you have possibilities to share the data on the multiple levels. So you can share the site itself, you can go to site content and share specific library or go to the documents inside the library and share the specific file. You can see it's starting to be a little more complex. On this level you have multiple possibilities how your users can use external sharing to share the data. To share the file with external user you need to put that person email in the sharing window and check if the system will allow that. You can see this domain, so gmail.com, is not allowed to be used for sharing, so let's use another account. You can see the error message because the default setting for this page is only for the internal people in my organization that can access that file. If you will select people with the existing access or very specific people, then you allow to share that kind of data with the selected person that need to authenticate to get access to the site. You can decide if that person can edit the data or only read it. Remember that previous settings were the default settings for this option. And for some files, you can also block downloading of the file. This is very useful, especially from perspective if you want to share some data like Word or PowerPoint document externally, but do not allow to downloading that file by the user. Let's share that data and send that kind of message to the end user and see how the accessing of externally shared files will work. Invited person will receive the invitation to the SharePoint site. Of course, you can see this is totally external data and the link will only work with the recipient of the message. So let's try to open it. To open the file as an external user, you need to receive the code for your email and then to paste it in here to get the possibility to open the data. This is very basic, very simple authentication method that allows you to take care that not everyone with the link will have possibility to access the data, only people who own the email address you choose to share the file. In such case, user will receive the email with the verification code. This is very simple, very basic verification of the user that that person is the owner of the email. We don't have to build very complex authentication process, but at the same time verify every external users that trying to access the data we own. You can see the user after the verification will be navigated to the SharePoint page exactly to the specific file we give access to, but you need to remember that this is still access granted on some level to the SharePoint. I can imagine that configuration of the external sharing on SharePoint or on OneDrive could take a while, especially internal discussion how it should work in the end. But believe me, leaving your business without controlled, organized solution with the secure technology behind is the easiest way to be surprised by your colleagues to use FTP servers, G drives or any other solution that is totally out of your control and probably not prepared to authenticate external users. You can imagine how big risk behind possible data leak is connected with such approach. So take a look about the external sharing in Office 365. This is great, ready to use technology that you can use. Remember external users that you will invite to your environment are free. They does not have to own any Office 365 subscription and you can manage the access to your data or the multiple levels. Today I showed you a few examples how to build the retentions of the external links to limit time when they are active. Things like that will make your life much easier. Play with this technology. If you have any questions, leave the comments in the comment sections. Thank you very much for watching and see you in next episode.